Welcome back, uh, ladies and gentlemen, with our ma uh, main uh, topic uh, today. Uh, we're discussing uh, in this episode of the Breakfast Show, uh, the Sinai uh, Liberation Day, and also the developmental uh, work and projects that is taking place uh, in uh, Sinai. So we, uh, in this occasion, we have the pleasure to have uh, this phono, Dr. Uh, uh, Niveen Nakhla, uh, Professor of Administration. Good morning. Good morning, Doctor, to you and to our well, uh, viewers. Well, uh, Doctor, um, um, uh, the state is uh, very keen, and especially President Abdel Fattah Sisi is very keen on the, the developmental and sustainable development uh, projects uh, to take place uh, in Sinai, and it started years ago uh, um, uh, in several fields, agricultural, uh, the uh, agriculture field. Uh, um, many fields in uh, the project. So give us an idea about the projects that are taking place uh, in Sinai. Yes, let me first congratulate all Egyptians everywhere around the world uh, through Nile TV for the happy anniversary on Sinai Liberation Day, uh, the land of turquoise. Uh, as we always say, uh, Sinai is the heart of Egypt and Egyptians throughout ages and history. Uh, if we see the new crossing and the equation of security and development in Sinai, uh, His Excellency, our President's message confirms that we are facing a new era of sustainable development. What the turquoise land witnessed is a miracle and achievement that is credited to the political leadership uh, with the testimonials of international institutions. As you were saying, uh, dear Doctor, His Excellency, our beloved President, Abdel Fattah Sisi's vision, to develop the eastern region of Egypt and attract the huge investments to achieve the state's vision 2030. Uh, we see what's happening today in Sinai from development and implementation of projects is a real uh, thing to confront uh, first pillar terrorism and then to bring out economic uh, reinsurgence and on, on the other hand. And also, as you see, the implementation of more of more than 462 development projects in Sinai in the last few years, including residential development projects, roads, services, utilities, ex electricity, uh, construction, reconstruction, because, um, of course, Egypt has spent more than 700 billion pounds for construction and development and reconstruction in Sinai. Um, development includes many access, as you were saying, water, distillation, plants, various agricultural projects, buildings, new cities, and developing various industries. Tunnels to connect with the Delta Valley, uh, which supports movement in addition to important tourism projects. Yes, and there are also uh, new housing uh, projects uh, that are taking place uh, also for uh, uh, the citizens of uh, Al Arish, Rafah, uh, uh, Sheikh Zwaid. Yes, uh, we saw that um, uh, we saw that there are 17 communities established in Sinai uh, as a co uh, in, uh, with a cost of nearly two billion uh, pounds um, to serve 550 families and. 10 communities in central Sinai, seven communities in south Sinai, a lot of, uh, of uh, construction, a lot of building. The development of clusters uh, aims to settle 300.5 million people. The general framework for the establishment of the development clusters uh, is lying in the raising uh, the level of available resources and strengthens, strengthening the economic, social, urban, and security structure in them, as well as contributing to solving the population problem and providing more job opportunities. There are also, amazingly, three centers for integrating, integrated agricultural services established to serve these clusters and project development as well as current and future agricultural activities in Sinai. Um, Sinai is good to mention that it is the food basket in Egypt. Um, by increasing the area of agricultural land and achieving development as a strategic goal, 
starting the national project for the developing, uh, development of Sinai, connecting the Nile water to Sinai through the Peace Canal, which will add area of 400,000 saddans to the agricultural area, and 125,000 saddans in the neighboring governorate. Uh, all this uh, benefit from the Bahr El Ba'ar water treatment plant as well, which adds new area of 600,000 acres to the, to the control of agricultural land in the governorate. Implementation of the first phase uh, uh, of uh, reclamation of cultivation of an area of 460,000 acres uh, is starting very much immediately. Yes, uh, so uh, also uh, Dr. Ranivin, uh, the projects in, uh, that are taking uh, or implemented in, uh, the, uh, in Sinai uh, varied uh, between agricultural, industrial, commercial and tourism projects, uh, as we mentioned, uh, but also housing projects, uh, water desalination, infrastructure, various uh, infrastructure uh, treatment plants uh, and roads, in addition to port and airport projects, uh, which have made a huge huge boom to uh, serve the people of Sinai at the coast, as you've just mentioned, 700 billion pounds since the year 2014 and since President Abdel Fattah Sisi came to office, which make it a commercial and touristic destination and uh, a global um, uh, region. So uh, what is the importance of uh, uh, these uh, projects uh, in changing the map of Sinai? Yes. Uh, what we have seen definitely confirms the success of Egyptian state in mixing the equation of security and sustainable development and translating it into practice on the ground. It is not by words, it's by really practice on the ground. Sinai has been transformed with the network of roads, major tunnels, huge projects, uh, plans for cultivation, the development of uh, Bardawil Station, the establishment of seawater distillation plants, and others. This development has made it close uh, and a part of the Delta and really connected to everywhere in Egypt. Uh, as you see, the, uh, the, His Excellency and the political will um, vision, the sustainable development vision of Egypt 2030, have a very important concept, is not to leave any place or anyone behind in the development. This means that in Egypt, the sustainable development contains all segments and all places with no bias. The National Strategic Plan for Sustainable Development of Egypt Vision 2030 is very uh, strong and very uh, uh, working really uh, in one strategic line and on the ground. Also, don't forget the investing investors. There is, a, a, there is great interest from all state and governorate, agen governorate agencies to facilitating procedures for various investors and working to provide new incentives for them to encourage them to set up projects on the land of all the governorates. Uh, uh, the land of the industrial zone in uh, Bira Labs were offered to investors to invest operations began began in accordance with the establishment and controls of requirements uh, to facilitate this. Uh, a lot is taking place, uh, a lot uh, is going on, and uh, we are very proud of our country. Yes, uh, so uh, Dr. Naveen, uh, you've just mentioned uh, the uh, investors and attracting investors uh, to Sinai projects. Uh, so what is the uh, service center for investors uh, that uh, in South Sinai? Do you have uh, an, an idea about uh, the service center for investors in South Sinai? Yes, uh, there is, as we said, uh, a great opportunity for investors in Sinai. Also good to mention that the area of Sinai is equivalent to three times of the Delta. And the development on the land of Sinai is in the interest of Egyptian national security and development, not only development of uh, in investors and investment cities and uh, agricultural, but also includes the human development, land development, resource development. 
the state is responsible for developing resources also and responsible for human development and land development. And that the directives of the chairman of the council ministers are that community development is more important even than uh, uh, the development as, as a whole, because community development is in the interest of national security. So uh, the efforts of the state with all its, its, its institutions in the development and reconstruction of Sinai is very much touched and very much um, what you say, uh, visionary and, uh, and strategic. Yes. Uh, yes. Yes. So, um, uh, Dr. Nevin, how do you see also uh, the um, uh, the uh, um, the plan the plan by President Abdel Fattah al Sisi in uh, while distributing or dividing the the projects that are taking place in Sinai, uh, the idea of connecting Sinai to uh, the Delta. cities in the Delta, the Delta cities. Connecting uh, Sinai with the other parts of Egypt, uh, uh, other governorates, uh, uh, through um, uh, 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 transportation and also uh, through uh, six tunnels that have been established to connect Sinai with the uh, cities of the Delta. Yes. Uh, first of all, of course, our honor to salute our president for the directive, the directives to all the state agencies, ministries to take care of the people and to take care of Sinai basic needs, implement development projects. We salute also the armed forces, civil police, and every uh, Egyptian uh, uh, state agency and ministers that worked uh, on this happening on the ground. Uh, the project that has been implemented are being implemented cost billions of pounds. Uh, and the, the state paid attention to establishing the infrastructure project to linking North Sinai with the canal governorates, like you were saying, in addition to the projects that are being implemented in the cities and centers of the governorates in various, various developing uh, uh, development sectors. Um, uh, as we were saying that the area of Sinai is equivalent equivalent to three times the delta and the developing uh, development is very important not only for the investment investing investors but also for the tourism in sinai um, the tourism in sinai has more than one appearance and has huge investments besides uh, as you were mentioning the road network in sinai to facilitate movement from south to north to support the potential of tourism in sinai uh, the projects multiply the possibility of construction and development in Sinai. So this connection is, is, is multiplying the possibilities for construction and development. Uh, development, as you were mentioning, includes many axes. A lot of things have taken place. Um, uh, it is a miracle, and we are very proud of everything happening. Yes, uh, so uh, Dr. Nevin, uh, also uh, the uh, Sinai Peninsula is uh, a rich land, rich with uh, uh, natural resources and especially uh, the natural gas. It's rich with uh, natural gas. So how uh, is uh, the state uh, taking benefit of this? Uh, of course, by the, by the infrastructure and by connecting uh, the roads and connecting everything so you can reach uh, everywhere in Sinai and really develop everywhere in Sinai. Um, what ha we have seen definitely confirms the success of the Egyptian state in mixing all the, all the equation together and uh, working uh, on all aspects and on all axes. Yes, uh, uh, Dr. Renvin, uh, um, since President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi came to office uh, and we uh, can see on the ground that there are developmental uh, uh, national mega projects taking place in Sinai. In, uh, before President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi came to office, uh, um, uh, Sinai was neglected. Uh, I mean, um, most of the officials in Egypt were speaking about 
how uh, 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 how dear and near to our hearts is Sinai, but we used to only to uh, listen to just you know a balance and words. But uh, on the ground now we can see uh, really uh, that Sinai is really developing, and there is a great development work. And uh, some of the projects are our most the, uh, of the projects are. Uh, uh, sustainable development projects. So how would the uh, sustainable development uh, projects in Sinai meet Egypt's aspiration or plan for the year 2030? Yes. Uh, as we were saying, we are saluting our beloved president, Abdel Fattah Sisi, for his visit and for his strategic plan to develop Sinai, our dear part in the hearts of Egyptians and in the heart of Egypt. Um, the projects, as you were saying, varied between agricultural, industrial, commercial, tourism, housing, water distillation, infrastructure, various infrastructure treatment plants, roads, projects, uh, port and airport projects. Uh, it, ha it, it made a huge boom to serve the people in Sinai. Uh, the cost was more than 700 billion pounds since 2014, and uh, this is to overcome the neglection, as you said, uh, of the years before His Excellency, which makes it a commercial and tourist destination, tourist destination, and the global region enjoying its land is safe and create new points of attraction for our, for our population. Uh, also, the, as, uh, the agricultural projects established in Sinai uh, 11 integrated agricultural and residential development communities established. Uh, cultivation of 400,000 Saddans in North Sinai, uh, the new city of Rafah and El Masai housing project in El Arif. Um, a lot of things, um, the, the marble industrial complex in uh, Gaza, in North Sinai Governorate, yes, uh, service, yes. everything, uh, his keenness to develop and reconstruction, it is very much um, in connection to the Egyptian Vision 2030. Mm. Yes, and sustainable yes. Development. Uh, so Dr. Nivin, uh, in the occasion of the 30, uh, 41st uh, uh, um, uh, uh, of uh, uh, anniversary of the liberation of Sinai, President Abdel Fattah Sisi delivered yesterday uh, in this occasion delivered a very important speech. How did you uh, follow the speech by President Abdel Fattah Sisi uh, on uh, Sinai Liberation Day? Yes, his speech was very encouraging. His speech was very kind, as usual. His speech was very, very directive to all the states and all the agencies and ministries of the state. Um, he, he really emphasized on the importance of Sinai in the hearts of Egyptians. And his message confirmed that we are facing a new era of sustainable development. Uh, what the turquoise land witnessed is a miracle, an achievement that is credited to the political leadership and to His Excellency personally, with the testimonials, uh, testimonials of the international institutions. It is not, um, we are not talking to ourselves, we are not praising ourselves, no. The international institutions are all talking about what took place in Sinai and the development uh, and, and the well-spent uh, money and well-spent efforts and work and hard work uh, in this great uh, turquoise land that God gave us uh, and part of, of the heart of Egypt. Yes, uh, I thank you very much for your time. Uh, thank you for your valuable information. I really had the pleasure to have this phone with you, Dr. Naveen Nakhla, Professor of Administration. Thank you very much for joining us over the phone, ladies and gentlemen. A short break and I'm going to be back with you.